Hi, it's Jill with Quick Flex, and I am just finishing up an order. I just have a few odds and ends left to do on it, but I thought I'd film it to the end just because I uh, haven't put a video up lately, in the past couple weeks anyway. Um, these are all the larger gable boxes. They're the 8 by 8 by 5 by 5 they're 8 by 5 yeah um and they're on the they're in the color cardstock i ran out of the white ones but it doesn't make a bit of difference um when i when i do them just because they aren't white and i put the purse on i always have to put a background color on the purse otherwise if i just use the white paper i don't like the way it looks from the side and on the gable boxes i cut off the tops because if you put them up as a gable box where the they they whoops they stand up I'm trying to cut here get do two things at once i guess i don't like the way that they look because that shows there's no way of hiding it so i just cut it off and typically i cut them off before i have a purse on it but obviously my my thoughts were elsewhere and I use double-sided, oh, here it is, right here, double-sided tacky tape. I put a strip on it to shut them, um, and I want to make sure that they stay shut. And this tacky tape is the best. My husband would like to use it to tape my mouth shut because he says I talk too much. But he finally broke down and went, got hearing aids, and he had surgery last year or so. He, Every few months he's got surgery on something. He's got more broken things on him. But anyway, um, he had some tubes put in his ears that he, or draining or whatever. One of the tubes in his ear was so blocked that when they put the hearing aids on him, they couldn't get it so he could hear. So he had to go to the doctor yesterday and they had to perform, uh, they had to remove the existing tube and put in a new one, which meant they had to do an, an incision and minor surgery when it, or I don't know if I'd even call it surgery but I guess it is so he can't wear that hearing aid um until that wound where they did the incision heals up it's in just a couple of days but my brother-in-law comedian that he thinks he is <laughs> said that um this was a perfect opportunity for Pedro to, to completely tune me out is because just take his hearing aids out we had to make a sign that plastic coat that hangs inside the shower where he gets in and it's a big sign that says don't forget to take your hearing aids off because his first ones he got which was a crappy pair which he should have never done in the first place but he just doesn't learn um he needs me as a teacher because i don't go that route he just doesn't know it but anyway he um uh, got in the shower with those on, which I'm sure didn't help, but they were cheap ones anyway. So when he came home this time and, and told me the cost, I said, that's what I told you to spend in the first place now that you've wasted all this time and money on this junk. But anyway, there's the first box. Now what I did on here is I took my liquid, I, I don't think they're called liquid pearls, they're just called crystal drops that are from Nuvo, and I outlined this down here. I didn't outline the whole name of the of the the bag because I didn't want it to really look. Sometimes when you put too much, um, it just looks cheesy. So I just went with small letters down on the bottom of it, and then I did the glitter and the gold on the buckles up here, and this handle is a kind of a marbly plastic handle. It and so I added different colors and shines to that to, to try and make it as look as much like marble as it could. Looking for a paper clip, guys, because I want to paper clip these shot for pictures. So um, let me go on to the next one. And I probably should, yeah, I think I'll take, I don't know. I'm thinking this one, which is a, I can't tell what it is. The brand and I forgot to put the gold on that one so I'll put this together then I'll add the gold the gable's already gone these the glitter on all these is already dry um, what I do is I made a template 
for all of my purses, um, I have a file that's got the eight by five square and then the five by five square, which is what I use as my um, guide when I go to make the purse because the bottom of the purse needs to be wider or is at least as wide as the box or the box will hang out. And I'll show you what, what I did. I wanted the boxes to all be uniform in size. I also didn't want to take one that was smaller at the bottom and make the purse gigantuan and then just didn't go with the rest of them. And then you have all this box and, and I just don't do it that way. How do you like that? End of that story. So what I'm gonna do on this one, first I'm gonna put the tape on one of these flaps. I put it on the top and then it just, is your bottom flap. You put that one in first. You feel off the top of this tape, the red, and you then it's sticky on the other side. So I stuck a little piece in there. And what I wanted to do on this one, I'm going to do this side first because then I'm going to have to glitter. I've got this leather strip that is in the color of the purse. And this has a leather strap hanging down here where it's hanging the medallion or whatever it is the, of the the brand of this purse, but I can't read it. So I, I don't know what it is. I don't know what brand it is. And uh, my my uh, uh, exquisite taste in handbags are backpacks. Because <laughs> I take care of my grandkids. Um, I typically have a backpack. Uh, I do have a, a little purse because if I, by chance, get to slip out and go to target or something without a child then I just carry a little bag or whatever I have I just um, because of taking care of grandkids I don't get anything of fine quality and my husband I'm always teasing because I shop on Amazon and if a day goes by where I don't get an Amazon package I'm feeling neglected and he's always like god you spend I can't believe you and and, and you know, there's always something coming coming for me. Um, and I said, well, you spend enough to feed an army in groceries every week. So I spend less on clothing and skincare products and shoes and whatever um, than he does on food. He goes, but at least that's food. And I said, at least that's food that goes right in and out. Um, fine, I can use numerous times. Believe me, that food is not gonna get used but once. Loves to go grocery shopping. Loves to go grocery shopping. He just went again today. We just got back from our trip and he went on Sunday because he said, Oh, I don't have my fruit for tomorrow. So then he went on Sunday. Today is Tuesday. And I think he went yesterday too, but I don't remember what he went for. He loves to go to the grocery store. Um, anyway, I think I started to tell you about, we just went to Nashville, uh, this past week with my older son and his wife. No kids, just us. Um, all I can say is Nashville is, is awesome. Um, I would have, we didn't go on the tours and all that. We just went downtown and, and I was just amazed at all the bars that are four stories tall. Everybody sits on the roof of them, which we did a lot of that. Um, and there's a band on every floor. So my husband came home and lost his voice because trying to carry on a conversation, he had to yell. And um, so he lost his voice in the in the uh, swing of things. Oh, I forgot to mention too, I put on the, the color on the ends of the purse. So, now, typically what I do is, but it all depends on what things are going to be used for. If they're going to be used for um, open and like having things coming out of them, like tissue paper and things inside of them, I would leave the, t the, uh, the <laughs> handles open. However, if it was going to be used as a gift and sold or gifted, not sold, gifted this way, I would tie them shut or tape them shut. Now, on this one, what I'm going to do is, I don't know. I'll come up with that later. But I would I would close them if I was just going to fill them with something and gift them like that. So, that's that one. 
Now, let me see. Let me find one that I was going to do something totally different to. This one is already done. I just need to cut the flaps off and put my piece of tape on there. I gotta open them all because I have to take pictures. In every one of these purses, this one's never heard of Fendi. Like I said, guys, I have I am absolutely clueless when it comes to the finer things. Um, of the fine, fine wines, fine purses, fine whatever. I am not of uh, of knowledge. There's no knowledge there. I have none. Mine would be like today spending an hour sitting on the couch with my granddaughter watching LOL doll, surprise doll videos. Um, and she would want to change the channel when they got half through, halfway through opening these big, these, what they call the large surprise boxes with 64 surprises. In them. Well, I was starting to really get into it. And, um, and she, the kid, you know, and I know my granddaughter would love it, but she'd love it for 10 minutes after she got it. Once she got everything opened, who knows what would happen. But I went on Amazon and I, a couple weeks ago, can't get the three-year-old potty trained. She absolutely refuses, refuses. Um, so I said I was going to bribe her and give her LOL doll if she would go on the potty. Um, and she gave it some thought, said, nope, ain't going to happen. Asked her why she won't go on there, and she said, well, she's afraid she's going to fall in and drown, I guess. I don't know what her fear is, but she's the first one of all my grandkids. And smart as a whip, but she will not. She'll come up and tell you, need time to change me. I just peed, but she will not go on the potty. So I thought I'd share that one with you. Okay, then we have this um, pink purse. What I did on the ends on this one is I grabbed uh, my square. Hold on. Come on. Okay, this one's cut off. Good, 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 good. Close this up quick. Um, I use the top of the purse by the straps because I didn't have enough room to cut my square on the bottom. The writing's real big on here, so um, what did I do? Oh, I made the small the writing smaller. Yeah, I did. I I made it smaller and pasted it or cut and pasted it over the top of the big lettering. But I don't know what I was going to tell you other than how I then went my clip. I want to hold them shut for my pictures, guys. And I don't want to put tape on them because then when I untape it, no matter how gently I try it, I tear some of the paper off. It doesn't hurt the box, but I don't want to send, do not want to send them out damaged. And I should have put the, the, the tape on first. But you know, that would have made sense. And I don't know about this making any sense. But I'm trying to think of anything exciting. There was all sorts of um, we did a lot we were in Nashville went to see a lot went to the museum of the stars there it was it was cool but um it was really fun getting away with one of my kids at a time instead of the the 25 of us on a trip um it was just the four of us we drove and um I ate a lot, a lot, <laughs> really good food down there. And I feel like every single place that we went to, every serving was intended for a family to eat off of one plate, a family of four. The plates were just absolutely huge. And why on earth my husband and I didn't share is beyond me because none of us ever fin finished. Now on this one, I did the, lick, or the crystal um, outlined here and around the leather pieces here and then up here there was a gold uh, V shape here and I filled that in with glitter and then I did glitter around one of the sides here on the purse. Okay that was pretty much on that one. Um, not all of them had 
uh, extra bling or things on them because there wasn't anything to put on. Um, so I'm saving the best, I guess I would call the best for last. Or I'm just torturing you guys and making, making you watch me put these things together. That is not always go smooth, going smoothly, whatever I'm um, thinking. My, my son, uh, oh, probably a month or so ago, hit a, a rock on the highway when he was working and broke his windshield. So he does have insurance. Um, the windshield was 1200 but 500 deductible. And he got it fixed like two or three weeks ago. And on their way home on the highway, another rock hit the windshield and broke it again. Um, I, I, I'm not even going to go into describe how upset my son was. Because the deductible isn't like a health deductible over the year or whatever. It's per incident. So, um, it's a brand new car. Well, I shouldn't say brand new. It's probably a year old now, but it's a new car and it's going to be going on its third windshield. He was watching to see how, how if it was cracking more to, to decide on when he was going to take it in. Um, and I talked to my daughter-in-law yesterday and she said, yeah, it had cracked another inch. The crack was enlarging quickly. It was way in the corner of the windshield, but um, he's going to have to get it in sooner than later. And I asked him, though, I because most insurances, I thought, covered the whole thing. I, I, I don't know what kind of insurance he has, but um, he wasn't happy, I'll tell you that, at all. I felt so bad for him, really bad, because that sucks. You're coming home from vacation where you just spent a lot anyway. Everything down there, um, big bucks. Um, everything was ungodly expensive. Um, but there wasn't a slow moment there. We Ubered everywhere, and every time we go out, the driver would say, it's like this all the time. It's just the traffic. That's why we decided not to drive for parking and the traffic, so just... And my son, for the drinking, of course, he he's not a big drinker, but um, he drinks enough that uh, you don't drink and drive, period. So he knew he was going to have at least a drink here and there. Jenna, on the other hand, uh, wanted to release some of her recent uh, anxiety she's been going through. And so she, they went out partying. And the next day when we went out, uh, we left without her. Um, she had to sleep a while before she could go out. Okay, now I'm hoping, um, let me see, who was this for? I can't remember the name, guys, who this is for. Um, I don't remember. So, I'm not going to, I don't have your paperwork right here, sitting here. But, just to let you know, I would take, if you have double-sided tape, I would tape these shut if you're going to be able to fit in what you need. Oh, I've got one more to put together. And I missed something. And which one? It's this one. Okay. This is the last one. And this is a... I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's my eyes or the writing on here. If it's a micro core? No, I don't think so. Could be. I don't know what it says. I can't read it. Um, my eyesight's not. I finally got into an eye doctor. I hadn't been there through the whole pandemic. So I uh, thought, well, oh, this is what I did. This was a little tiny bit narrower than the bottom of the box, but I didn't want to make it because even by making it a half inch bigger or, or less, it's still going to make it not uniform with the rest of the purses. Um, and I wanted it as close to the same size for all of them. Uh, these can be kind of challenging because it all depends on the shape of the purse and how much uh, or how large you have to go on them. These were all good 
images because the purses were pretty much all straight up and down. But I've had some bags that are like a funnel. And then the top of the bag is yay wide in order to get the bottom to fit it. I don't like doing that. Now on this one, what I'm going to do is this has got chains connecting the, the handle. <clears throat> so I am going to put some chains on it. I got my hot glue gun all wrapped up here, warmed up, wrapped up, warmed up, whatever it is. When we got back um, from our trip, I hadn't worked out. I took weights with me and I did my weights every night that we were there. When I got back to the hotel, I did my weights. Um, I told my husband, I'm not going to go four days. Uh, I, you know, it's not a big deal for me to do, to do my, my weight workout. So I did. And I was really glad I did. But when I got home, I was really chomping at the bit to work out my, my normal workout. And um, so I did that. And I put my Oculus on and I couldn't see anything. Everything was black. And I'm like, ah, oh, please don't tell me this is broke. It was fine when I left. And I kept taking it off and cleaning the lenses and, and shutting it off and restarting it. I put it back, put it back on after a good 10 minutes of trying to figure out why in the hair, I almost said what I didn't mean to say, why in the heck this wasn't working. Um, I realized that I had the eye covers on it that protect the lenses. I still had them on. I hadn't taken them off. Talk about being over anxious. I didn't even take them off. I was so, I gotta keep going, I gotta keep going. Yeah told my husband, he just shakes his head and it's like, only you. He said, yep, it would be only me because you wouldn't work out on that. Yeah, the chains are on there now. When I take the pictures, um, you'll be able to see. I think that's really cute. I wish I would have had pink of that leather because there's a leather strap here that I would have liked to have done in the pink. But, oh man. Talk about almost blowing it there. I almost put the chain on the pink leather because that was what I was talking about. Okay, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, got it. I'm trying, you know, guys, I haven't, I don't um, video as often as I used to. And I'm sorry to all of those that missed scrapbooking. Um, I think the next scrapbooking I'm going to do is our trip to Vegas. I think I'm going to print out the pictures because I got some really good ones. And I've always wanted to do, not Vegas, Nashville. And my next trip with one of my, one of my kids that isn't a family outing is going to be to um, uh, Vegas because I've never been there. But our next family trip is to Costa Rica. So I have to get my passport. Um, I know we go to Disney every year, but we're going to go to Costa Rica. And um, there was something else that I wanted to do here, and I got my buttons out. What for? I don't remember, but I've got to get these done and out the door. I will get them all set up and upload some pictures. And the video so that is about it and thank you for watching and see you on the next time around uh oh if i can get into where i need to be uh oh i have my clock set on my timer because i was down doing i try to do my workout with my grandkids there on the trampoline but Ellie always kicks me off, so I have to 